Hockey Night in Canada rolls on. After Hours is coming up as well with Joel Ward of the Sharks, a victorious Sharks team, 5 nothing. Here's the final tally, guys. In those last few minutes, they had three shorthanded goals in the game. They had two empty net goals. They had a penalty shot goal, which we were all scratching our heads about. Chris Tierney from Keswick, Ontario, had a couple of shorties and a penalty shot goal. The penalty shot, why? Uh, 12 seconds left, barely touched. Explain it. Nobody knows. Uh, I, 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 don't ask me to explain it. No, Louis DeBoss nailed it, right? There's no penalty shot here. Like I mean, he gets a shot away. Yeah. It, if you get a, uh, your scoring chance, there's no penalty shot. Uh, plain and simple. I, I'm frankly uh, stunned by what the official is calling on that. There, there's no there's no infraction for penalty shot. And, and he had a breakaway from center ice is the bottom line, even yeah. if he was impeded at all. Yeah, D D uh, Henrik doesn't get him at all there. So I don't, I don't know. Puzzling. You yeah, know who liked know. that? Chris Tierney's agent, because he gets two shorties, he gets <laughs> well, a couple goals. And, hey. and, and if you're Markstrom, you've done everything in this hockey game to yeah. keep your, your team in it um, right right yeah. going into mm -hmm. the third period. And if, if, if you're Markstrom now, it's not you're not even thinking about the penalty shot, but giving in giving up the opportunity uh, is... It didn't, didn't make does, sense. Does that not drive it, you crazy? You yes, know the game's did. over, yes. but... Don't make me give up the fifth goal. That's right, absolutely. And let's not just pack it in. Mm -hmm. The game is seemingly over. We understand that. But your job is to play for the full 60 minutes. Uh, well, bottom line is it's a 5 nothing win. Aaron Dell, spectacular. Airdria, Alberta, mm -hmm. 41 saves. He picks up the W there. Uh, there is a moment that the league's going to take a look at because uh, Timo Meyer, uh, they called it a five-minute elbowing penalty from what we could tell our vantage point. It looked much more like a butt end. But what do you expect to happen here? I didn't like it at all, yeah, I, and I'll tell you what I didn't like even more than the, the elbow or butt end or whatever you want to call it is the lack of response out of the Canucks. Like, I'm sorry, but when you, Ooh. even if your back is turned and you know that your player is down, something happened. But, and I know Travis Green, I played against him. I, I believe he's going to have an issue with the lack of response and I'm not suggesting that let's go back 20 years ago no no, no that's not what I was going to say right the, let's the, not go back 20 years ago and make sure that the last 30 seconds end up taking an hour and a half to finish mm -hmm. which we know yep. would have been but at the same time say something mm -hmm. please just somebody go up and tell Meyer or somebody on San Jose that that's unacceptable you know the only thing I would say is defense to Vancouver 99% of me agrees with you is that they've got this situation hanging over them with Dorset where he's got two instigators and the next one gets him a two game Elliot, suspension that would so I'm I just would, I would not that would not remotely cross my mind okay but that was that was then and I'm wondering if now they're looking at this situation and saying we don't want to get anyone suspended. It's the only thing I can think of. Let's right? get back to the incident, though. Mm -hmm. that That's serious. That should be a suspension, a hardy suspension, because there's no, no uh, question. The video shows that he gets up and intentionally goes right to Del Zotto, and that is a dirty play. There's, uh, Look at this. He intentionally yeah. turns, looks at him directly, and the strike to the face, that that's vicious. That's mean. That has to be out of the game. And you don't even have to prove intention. Bottom line is you're responsible for your stick. You can't be getting a stick up in a guy's I'm face I'm sure like they're going to take a look at it. No doubt they'll be looking.